Hey, what's up YouTube? Northwest Farm Dad here, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Flint and Tinder waxed flannel lined uh, trucker jacket. Now, I got this in the relaxed fit uh, medium, so interestingly enough, if you look at the label, uh, it's actually labeled as a medium tall, so uh, I would equate the relaxed fit to just a tall size, um, and that's how it fits me. It fits me like a medium tall. A medium tall is what I buy uh, in Filson uh, as well, so uh, um, that's for it from a sizing perspective. Uh, this jacket is uh, sewn in um, the U.S. The uh, exterior material is sourced out of um, the U.K., so expensive uh, materials. Um, it does not have a zipper. Uh, it has the flint and tinder uh, metal buttons. Um, but overall, my first impressions of this jacket are um, really good. A couple things that I noted on the jacket are just the quality of the stitching. So um, the stitching is a little bit more consistent than what I've seen with um, Schaefer Outfitters. And it's actually a, a little bit um, of a complicated um, construction, if, particularly if you look at the back. Uh, if you look at the back on this jacket, instead of just a single piece like you see on a lot of the Filson and um, uh, Schaefer Outfitters, uh, they actually do have a taper that they've sewn into this jacket. So uh, a little bit more complicated. And then they also have um, the tabs down here on the waist in case you want to tighten it up. It does. Uh, it is a more form-fitting jacket than anything I've gotten from Filson or Schaefer Outfitters. So it's, I guess, a little bit more stylish. So the exterior of this jacket is the British Millerain Tech Wax. Uh, this, uh, I don't know where the actual um, cotton is manufactured, but it is finished and uh, the waxing finish does occur in the UK before it's sent to uh, Flint and Tinder. And then I am a big fan of the uh, flannel lining. It's super comfortable to just against your skin. It's a really comfortable jacket. And once again, uh, we have, uh, not only is it a medium tall, but it is, uh, made in the United States of America. Um, I know I talked a little bit about the construction quality earlier. Um, I pulled out a Schaefer Outfitter jacket just to kind of show the difference in construction quality. And this is the Flint and Tinder. So you see the double stitching, um, here, like this is a, a little bit more complicated of a stitching process as opposed to just the single stitch on the, um, Schaefer Outfitters. And you see it just doesn't this doesn't look as clean, um, and then it, it kind of folds uh, funny as it goes down the sleeve there. So um, they're both fine, good, comfortable jackets. There's just more attention to detail on the Flint and Tinder jacket. So, All right, so from a fit perspective, um, I really like the way that the long fits. I've got super long arms, 35-inch uh, uh, arm length, and this gives me plenty of room um, on the arm length. On the traditional... Um, Huckberry jackets, they're just a little bit too short for my super long arms, so I'm really happy that this comes in a long. And I also really like where the jacket falls just when I'm, when I'm wearing a pair of jeans. So I had the Schaefer Outfitter um, Mesquite Brush Jacket, and that one came up really high, like it was at the belt line, which I don't like just, I don't like something that's gonna hang up here at the belt line. You know, if I'm gonna carry concealed, I like something that's gonna cover that up. Um, but overall, for me, at 6'1 and 190 pounds, the medium uh, long is a great size um, for me. So when we look at the fabric that is um, that goes into this jacket, the exterior mill rain, I did some research, runs about 10 bucks a yard um, for that fabric. It's not inexpensive. And I would guess there's probably four yards of fabric that it takes to make this between the arms, the body, the stuff on the back. So you're looking at probably 40 bucks worth of wax cotton. Then you gotta add the liner and the buttons and the fact that it's manufactured in the US. like. There's some pretty significant costs to go into this jacket, and it's 298 bucks. Like that's a, from my perspective, that's a really good price point for an American-made wax cotton jacket, especially when we compare it to Filson, which is you know 150 dollars, 135 dollars more for a jacket that's not American-made um, and is using uh, less expensive labor. So uh, I'm going to be taking this jacket with me when we go down to some barrel races in Nevada at the end of the month. Uh, so I'll be wearing it a lot down there and I'll post an update on just how it does and how it wears um, as I'm down there. So uh, stay tuned and uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it.